Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm gonna do a pressure hose review. I've been having a lot of guys ask me which pressure hose I use, and I'll probably just do a video on each of these. <clears throat> I can't do much one on this one. This is a 5800 foot never kink, and even though it may never kink, I thought with it being a harder hose, that it would be pretty good to keep on the reel and just pull off what I need. Well, as you can see, this thing is flat as flat can get. So there's no way uh, that I could pull just some of that to the, you know, if I had a, a 50 foot section, there's no way I could just pull 50 foot off and then feed the machine. No way I could do that. Um, still going to try to see if this pump will pull but yeah, right now i just don't have the time to deal with it because i'm gonna have to rearrange everything to do that and uh as long as that hose keeps feeding that hose to there and it keeps working for the time being that's how it's gonna stay but anyway back to the pressure hose the hose i've been using this year i've been using both of them actually this is the we'll see it here the hpc 4000 psi 3 8 i got this from pressuretech.com like i get most of my stuff a <clears throat> uh, hundred foot section i think is 150 dollars. you can get 50 foot sections the only reason that i used this is when i was getting my sutner hose they were out so it was either try to get some off of Amazon or get this one, okay? Well, the Sutner hose, you can see this right here is smooth. This is the HPC. This right here, you can hear it. You don't hear nothing there, you can hear that. It has a texture to it, and I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. Now, these Sutner hoses, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about them. Uh, the only ones that ever messed up on me were the ones that got used a whole lot and then the ones that I let freeze and bust. So the only reason I got these, <clears throat> the HPC, this one here, and it's one wire. Uh, I'm not going to spend the money on two wire. I've not had any blowouts. And even guys that run bigger machines than mine still just say they use one wire. So the one wire has been fine for me. So that's what I'll use until, you know, something messes up. Uh, or makes me change my mind, but they, of course, they got the 3 8 connectors on it. What I like about it is it's smooth. When you're doing uh, a house and you're pulling around, say, like a wood deck or uh, anything wood, a, a porch railing, a, a step rail, anything like that, if you pull hard enough trying to pull your hose and you're using this Sutner and it has that texture to it, it'll take that, it'll take those particles off. You'll see a rub mark like a burn mark if you pull it. So if you got that, you got to pull it away so you don't do that. But this HPC hose, I've been using this now. This is June and we've been washing since January. So I've been using this since, well, I got it at the end of Jan uh, December. But six months now, we've been using it. It's been sitting out in the weather, getting used, drugged, washed, rained. Uh, you can see some wear on it, just like you can any of the hoses. The reason that I have the section here is this outside section is the section that really gets, you know, exposed to the weather. The top, I got 200 foot, two 100 foot sections on here. And the 100 foot that's the, on, the first to come off the spool or the reel is the one that's going to take all the weather because it's covering the rest of the hose for the biggest part. So six months in, I feel like I can give a good review on this and, and say that for the money, well, it isn't even for the money. I just like it. I don't think that it's any cheaper or expensive than the Sutner. So when I needed to order another hundred foot section for a backup, I ordered the HPC, even though they had the Sutner in stock. It's smooth when, you know, if you guys are like me, if you look in my truck, I always have t-shirts here. So when I'm reeling it up, 
I'll hold that t-shirt over the hose and let it, you know, roll through. And this smooth hose, everything rolls off of it to where you can see the Sutner, it's like stained because it gets into those grooves. And it's not so much a cosmetic thing like what you like to see or you don't like to see. It's just the dirt and leaves and grass and everything just comes off when you're rolling these hoses through your hands a lot better with this HPC. So when I needed a 100 foot section, that's what I got. I got a new HPC uh, from PressureTech.com. So that's the hose, the pressure hose I use. It's three eighths, one wire. I use 100 foot sections because I do have it plumbed into this general pump hose reel and a whip line over to the pressure washer. I pull off what I need and go, and it always works good. So uh, anyway, that's my time for today. For you guys that's been wondering about a pressure hose, what I use, that's what I use.